of the day. My name is Frankie Indalicio, and I'm going to show you step by step on how to submit a help desk ticket. Do you have trouble with your Wi Fi connection? Is your laptop not starting up? Is the screen just going blank? Are the keys popping out? Something just not working? You ever hear your, co your colleague or the principal or someone in the office tell you, if you have a problem, submit a help desk ticket. Well, you're in the right place to learn just how to do that. So let's begin. So one of the first things that is really important to note is that as an employee with the Guam Department of Education, you should have network access. Most of you already have this by now. For new employees, you would need to make sure that the personnel office provides you with an employment identification number or an EIN number. Once you have that EIN number, you will be allowed to request for access to the network. For everyone else that already has an existing EIN number and you're not sure if you have network access, the first indicator is that if you were issued a GDOE laptop, then by default, you must have been given network access. The username and the password that you use to get into your GDOE laptop is your network access. And you notice how when you log into your laptop, you don't need to use the at gdoe.net portion, just your username. So for example, for me, I just put FJ in delay show. I don't have to put the whole thing with at gdoe.net. And then I enter my password and then I'm able to have access into my laptop. You would do the same thing with yours by using your username and password. That is your network access. So that's the, probably the first step that you need to take is determine whether you have network access or not. If you don't have access to the network or if you're unsure if you have access, first check by checking if you have a, a GDOE laptop. On the laptop tips for teachers, you'll notice a section in reference to personal devices. You'll see that you're able to request for internet connectivity by calling 475-0479. Please note that this internet connection on your personal laptop will only be good for 90 days, at which time you'll need to simply call them back to request for a renewal. You can also request for specific software to be installed, such as software needed for the Prometheum board or any other GDOE related equipment. So let's take a look at what it looks like to log in and submit a help desk ticket. The important thing to note is that you can only do this when you are connected to the network. So once you have your network access, utilize that and log into the network you will not be able to do this from home or in any other private internet connection. So the website that you would go to is https colon double forward slash helpdesk dot gdoe dot net. Now some of you may have used this same address to send in an email because you can still also submit a ticket by sending an email. However, the priority goes to those that are actually using the help desk ticket portal to submit tickets. You may find that it will take more time for FSAIS to respond if you submit a ticket via email. So once you get to the page, as you can see before you, you'll notice this window right on the top center area here, and it says to sign in. You really don't need to sign in through this window here. You can simply cancel this. I've no noticed that there were times in which I would log in here and click on sign in, yet it still prompts me to sign in. So I just kind of bypassed this section here. So I'll cancel that. 
And right over here in the top right corner, you'll see where it says I'm, that I'm not signed in. And I have the button here to click on that says sign in now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Sign in now. Again, it brings up this pop-up window. You can close it. And here is the section where you would enter your username and password to give you access to the network. And it shows me a history here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And I'll enter my network password. And I'll click on login or press enter or return. So now on the top right corner, it shows my name here. I don't have a profile picture. This is how I can tell that I'm logged into the help desk portal. So once I'm in there, you'll notice some things on the bottom. There are a bunch of tabs here in blue. You really don't need to access any of those other tabs when submitting a ticket. It'll by default open up on the work request tab, the first one. It's a really short page. Here it is from top to bottom. You can see already here's the bottom of the page. So it's a real short, simple, and to the point. There are many other resources to the right that you can take a look at at a later time. So here looking at this, now that I know that I'm logged in, I can start by going down to this section that says for help with an IT issue you are experiencing, please complete the form below. So under location, you select on it, that's a drop down so you can choose the school that you're at or the division that you're at. So as an example, I work for the Division of Curriculum and Instruction, so I'm going to select this. Let's say, for example, I'm submitting a ticket because my GDOE laptop is not connecting to the Wi-Fi. For some reason, it's just not making a connection. So I've looked at what I could do to troubleshoot on my own, and I've reached out to my colleagues, and we really can't figure out what it is. So I've resorted to submitting a ticket, and here I am submitting a ticket. So I've indicated my location. I can add a contact number in here. If you want, you can put like your office number. You can put your own personal cell phone number if you want. Whatever number you would like to use for them to contact you if they need to, you would put that in there. You can even put the school office number. And then a, a quick summary. Um, you can put GDOE laptop not connecting to the Wi-Fi. You can just put in internet, right? And it's just a quick summary. Um, you can type in a description. I tried restarting my laptop, but it still does not connect to the internet. You have category here. You can see if it has a red star, it is required. So I don't even have to put a description if I didn't want to. Under, under category, when you click on it, it'll give you different options. We can see we have internet access problem. That's like the first one on the list. There are many other here, any other technical issues that you might be experiencing. Um, I've seen some instances where the mobile cart isn't charging for whatever reason. You've checked the cables. They're all securely connected uh, and uh, into the cart and into the wall, into the outlet, but it's still not charging up for whatever reason. You need help. Uh, maybe you need a password reset on your email. And speaking of passwords, please note that when it comes to your email password, this is the place to go to to submit a ticket. And also note that your email password is different from your network access password. So unfortunately, there's so many different passwords you'll need to remember, but it's important to have this stored in a secure place for you to reference back if needed. So if you need a password reset, you can go here. There are many different types of supports that they offer to you. So go ahead and choose the correct one in the drop down list. In this case, for this example, I'll choose internet access problem. And then the system, um, so I see email, email and network, 
hardware, internet. I'm going to choose internet. And then it says, if this request is for a laptop or desktop, please provide the property number and serial number of the equipment. So what this does is it really helps FSAIS pinpoint what computer exactly is not connecting to the internet. And all DOE equipment, all the laptops have an asset tag. It's a red tag, a red sticker. Um, you'll find it either on the bottom of the laptop or in some cases it might be on the top. But that asset tag, that red asset tag number, uh, this is a good place to put that information in here as FSAIS will be able to look specifically at the laptop you're reporting to have issues with. So you can put in the property number of the laptop, the serial number of the laptop. You can even add additional photos if you want. If you need to show something, you know, in another example, if there's a damaged key, a key popped out or, you know, whatnot, uh, you can take a photo of it and attach it here if you want to. And when you're done, you simply submit the ticket. And because of this being an example, I'm not going to submit, but I'm just going to sign out. And so what happens is when you do submit a ticket, you'll notice that you should get an email response from FSAIS that basically acknowledges that you've received your ticket. And then the next step would be that your ticket would be assigned to one of the technicians at FSAIS and once the issue has been resolved, if they're able to resolve it on their end without needing to call you or to send you any information or ask any questions, sometimes they're able to kind of just look into it on their side and solve the problem from there. You'll get another email that says that the ticket has been closed. Once the ticket has been closed, this is an indicator that FSAIS is no longer looking at the matter. And it's either because the matter has been solved or maybe there was a pre-existing agreement that the matter would is not able to be resolved at the moment and that it'll be looked at at a later time. For whatever reason, uh, that is a good indicator on your end. If you get an email that says that the ticket has been closed, then you know that FSAAS is no longer looking at the situation. So. Um, you'll get those indicators to, to kind of get an idea of where the progress is at with FSAIS and keep you updated. And so that's it. That's how you would submit a help desk ticket. This is the best way to reach out to FSAIS for help. And in addition to this, this is a, a great tool that FSAIS uses to monitor their level of service to the schools as well. So they monitor, they keep track of the tickets that are coming in. They also pay attention to how quickly the tickets are resolved. So your ticket, once it's submitted, it doesn't sit at the table for days and days unattended to. So if you would like for them to assist you uh, in, a, in, a, in a pretty quick fashion, then submit a ticket because they are always monitoring for incoming tickets being submitted and you'll get those email notifications that tell you that they are receiving your ticket and they're looking into it and they'll call you if need be all right i hope this helps uh, with how to submit a help desk ticket